So for voicemail to email to work, we have to configure an email address for the uh, system to mail out on. And we do that in the network tab. So go ahead and click on that. And we have some uh, additional settings in here for the uh, ethernet interfaces. Uh, you can uh, leave those as is for right now. Uh, we'll probably come back a little bit later and work on that. Um, what I want to focus on here is the uh, network time server. So uh, you want to come in here and set a network time server. You can use any one from the list or do a user defined and then enter in your own. Uh, I, I just use this one by default. Uh, it, it's a reliable one. And then the time zone, again, that could be user defined. So you could uh, scroll up to uh, where it's user defined and then type in your own time zone. But uh, for simplicity, I'm on the East Coast, so I'm just going to set this to America, New York. And then down here, uh, we want to set up the uh, SMTP mail, and this is for voicemail to email. So we need to make sure this is correct before we can uh, do anything with our uh, system. So the server, uh, this is going to depend uh, a great deal on, on what you're using. I like to just use a Gmail account. Uh, I set it up with a really secure password and uh, it just works really well for me. So I'll show you how to set it up for Gmail. Uh, the SMTP server is gonna be smtp.gmail.com. Uh, leave the domain blank. The authentication you want is plain. Uh, encryption is gonna be uh, TLS and start TLS. Uh, you wanna ignore cert. And then the username is gonna be uh, my email address at gmail.com. Uh, you're, you're just going to want to change this my email address part with whatever email address you set up. Maybe you set up um, asterisk voicemail at gmail.com or something to that effect. You would, you would use that there. Uh, so uh, you change that and um, we need to go over and change the port number. The port number is going to be for this is for Gmail is 587. And we can leave the cert file the way it is, and then you just enter your email address's password in. So uh, type that in, uh, and then we can actually use this button to test it. And what it'll do is it'll, it'll generate a test email, uh, and we can see if it's actually working. So it's always a, a good idea to be able to use that. Um, so I can set in the email address I want to send it to, so I can send it to you know, my personal email address, uh, leave the from one blank, just and uh, click te send test email. It won't work because I don't have an email address in here. But that way you can verify and validate that that is working prior to uh, walking away from, from setting up the system. So uh, those are the settings that you do need to make sure you change in there. And I, uh, I clicked away, so... Um, just to show you once again what that looks like, uh, there you go. And that's all we're going to configure in uh, this network tab for right now.